Please welcome for the first time to the mountain stage, Vintage Trouble. <laughs> The Bomb Shelter Sessions. Yes. Well, as independent artists, um, we did release it in California first. There you go. Because we kind of got together to do our record. It was just demos because we were doing these residencies four times a week all over different parts of L.A. And we needed something to, to sell at the shows. So we went in to kind of demo the songs. We'd only been together for three months at that time. We went in the studio and recorded that record in three days. And we started playing it and selling it at our gigs. And it ended up going over really well, so much to the point that um, our manager signed us and we decided that we wanted to go to Europe first because we have a dream like in 1967 when Stax took uh, the vault tour over there and um, and the people in Europe have such a thirst and hunger for early 1950s and 60s rhythm and blues music we figured you know it's worked in history let's give it another shot and so that's what we did I need everybody. If you listen to these guys that don't think of vintage soul music, I don't see how you can not. If you were alive the first time around when a lot of that stuff happened, because you got this sound, it's it's got you're a great vocalist, and you have a little of that feel to you, and the music has that great energy and the groove is the main well, thing. Well, we you just know? like things to be raw, and I think that was a period in time with both rock and roll and rhythm and blues slash soul, where there was uh, less definition between the two. Yeah. You know, you had your Little Richards and you had your Chuck Berry, Etta James, Ike and Tina Turner, all these people were, were marrying styles, even early Stones and early Zeppelin. And the rawer to us, the more sexy. So for us, we did, first of all, we want to be sexy in our minds. I mean, we're guys, right? And so we just figured if we could strip ourselves down, you know, stop um, letting all the stuff accumulate that you do sometimes when you're young, and you're starting to be a musician and you think there are things that you need to do in order to be cool, we just want to be um, sincere and authentic and we want to bash things and we want to really touch hearts instead of just pretending to do that. And so I think that's what people associate with the mu music from that time, is that it was it was unpretentious, Yep. you know? Somebody tell me, nobody told me, nobody Well, back in the day, um, in order to have a million people hear you, you couldn't just do a video and throw it up on right, MTV no. or VH1. You had to perform for a million yeah, people. Yeah, you had to go out there and, right. and do, do your, pay your dues. So by the time a million people saw you, you'd kind of worked up your chops. And, yeah. and we love that. I mean, there's nothing better for us than being in a room full of sweaty people where you can actually smell the people you're playing for and you can kind of work off of a visceral energy. And then the show becomes just as much about the audience as it is about us. Yeah. You know, you can kind of focus on how the people are moving and that lets you know how much you should sing or play or or whatever you need to do. If yeah. you're just really focusing on how well it's making people dance or not dance, or how well it's making people, um, I don't know, cry or feel, yeah. whatever that is. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, I am telling you that I'm rounded, I'm rounded, I'm rounded. No matter how hard I try, There's so much 
more material out there than are even on the Bomb Shelter Sessions album. We've had to do little releases, so if you just uh, go to iTunes, hit Vintage Trouble, and just pick up something you don't have already, expand your Vintage Trouble collection, and, and kind of really become more and more of a troublemaker, if you if you will. Yeah, if you love, I mean, if you love live music, if you love rock soul, the, the, the whole thing like he was talking about was, it hit me right away. This is this stuff is great. I think you'll like it too. Vintage Trouble. Thank you guys for being with us. Thank we'll you guys. Again. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I see you dancing, Lee. I see you dancing.